A 16-year-old boy will be tried as an adult in connection with a triple homicide in Lookout Valley. Good evening. I'm Calvin Snead. I'm Kim Chapman. It is a decision Hamilton County's juvenile judge calls heartbreaking. News Channel 9's Micaiah Thurman was inside that hearing and joins us now with the story. Micaiah. That juvenile court transfer hearing was not only emotional for the teen, but also for all four of the victim's families that gathered in the back of the room. Just outside the courtroom, one victim's family tells us that a decision on this special day is helping them cope with their loss. Jacob Allison is now an adult in the eyes of the state. They got out of that vehicle and they proceeded to shoot these three individuals. The now 16-year-old is facing three life sentences for three counts of first-degree murder and one count of attempted murder. Back in April, John Morris, John Lang, and Caleb Boozer were found shot to death at an RV campsite in Lookout Valley. 16-year-old Michael Kalen survived the attack after being shot several times. Hamilton County deputies arrested Skylar Allen, Jacob Allison, and Derek Morse, charging them with a crime. Allison was 15 at the time. And there is no proof that my client ever had a gun or ever participated in this killing. You have a, a, a juvenile who drove two people to commit a mass murder. And just because he says, I didn't know, just because he didn't pull a trigger, just because he didn't have a gun, doesn't make him any less guilty under the law of first degree murder. After hearing arguments from Allison's defense attorney as well as the prosecutor, juvenile court judge Robert Filia sided with the state, meaning Jacob Allison will face those three life sentences in Hamilton County Criminal Court. He will not be tried as a juvenile. I don't know where this case will end up. That's not for me to decide. Just as the hearing wrapped up, all four of the victim's families filed out of the juvenile detention center. Justice is being served. Right. John Morris didn't survive, but his family tells us that he would have turned 25 today. Now the Morris family only hopes for one thing. Just justice. Yeah. Just they get what they deserve. Allison was immediately transferred to the Hamilton County Jail. He will remain behind bars with those two other suspects in the case. Makaya, did Allison get any kind of bond here? He did. He is getting $150,000 for each count of that criminal homicide mm. and $75,000 for that attempted criminal homicide. Oh. All right, okay. Makaya, thank you very much. Appreciate you.